Okay, this is going to be a quick tour video of my 2009 Razor 800S, which stands for Sport. In 2009, this was the sporty machine that they built. It has the early design Fox suspension, independent front and rear. I have a real Warren winch with a remote control. It has the synthetic cable. I have 26 by 9 R12 tires with real lead lock wheels. The Razor has front and rear disc brakes with real stainless steel braided lines for a real firm pedal feel. I'm going to do a quick walk around. It has an aftermarket cloth roof. I also have the original tires and wheels with very little use on them that I got from the previous owner. I have two whip flags. Those are used so that people can see you when you come up and over the top of a hill so that hopefully somebody coming the other way doesn't run you over. It has an aftermarket three-position rear-view mirror, two rear-view side mirrors, aftermarket. It has a stereo and a CB and an aftermarket billet shifter. It has aftermarket four-point harness seat belts for the passenger and driver. It has the uh-oh handle for the passenger. I put new six ply desert slash mud tires on it after I bought it. It also sports a muzzy full independent complete exhaust system with titanium pipes and two separate mufflers I'll show you around the other side inside there is the air cleaner it's factory but it's quite large and it has a special dust sock over it. It has full independent rear suspension. And underneath, it has a full skid tray made of plastic so that no internal parts can be hit when you bottom out, which has happened a few times. I never bought a mount for my spare tire because I can't find one that mounts it in this exact position. I like it mounted there because of the center of gravity. This particular Razor, the early models, it's very lightweight. It weighs just under 1,100 pounds fully dressed out, which is very light. It also has a Dynojet Power Commander on the fuel injection and the timing, which are, are altered 
to accommodate the full exhaust system and to build more power. For an 800, it has tremendous throttle response and is fairly quick. It's not as fast as the new Razors, but it definitely gets the job done. And it's quite loud. Front CV joint drive shafts and the front disc brakes. It has twin A-arm links for the front suspension. The other side of the winch. It also sports a full roll cage, including the rear portion. When we lived in the Northwest, I had planned on buying one of these for about a year. And I had a budget, and I looked at all of the prices I could find in the Northwest and they seem to be significantly more expensive than buying one here in the southwest so i waited till we got to havasu and i bought it a year ago in lake havasu and i lucked out by finding this it had been almost exclusively driven on the street and had almost no time on it i bought it with 150 hours of use and 2,000 miles that were almost all driven on the streets of lake havasu since then I have put quite a bit of use on this. I'm well over 4,000 miles now and 360 hours. It is licensed to be driven on the street and to be driven on all OHV trails in Arizona. It holds seven gallons of gas underneath the passenger seat. I'm guessing the range is well over 150 miles on one tank. I'll tell you, if you're ever thinking about getting one of these, I highly recommend it. It is an extremely capable machine. It has 12 inches of ground clearance, 10 inches of suspension travel in the front, 8 inches in the rear. And it honestly will go over almost anything. It will go places that I would be scared to take a Jeep. Okay, I'm going to go for a cold startup. It's about 41 degrees out here and it got down to 35 last night so it's been sitting in the cold it's probably going to crank over slow smooth idle